Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. I am your host, Elias Sarantopoulos. The pen tool being one of the most powerful tools inside Adobe Illustrator, a tool every designer should understand the right way. So in this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, I will cover many ways how to create and edit anchor points and paths through many examples and practice exercises in order to become very comfortable using it for your everyday design work. So inside Adobe Illustrator, I have created a bunch of examples, as you can see inside the Layers panel, to help you understand the different concepts of using the pen tool. An Illustrator file that you can download below the video description if you wish to follow along. Now, before we start this off, a couple of things I would like to bring to your attention. One, I will remove the rubber band preview inside the Preferences panel and under the Selection and Anchor Display at the very bottom, just check off the Enable rubber band for the pen tool. There's no need for us to have a preview for the next path to be drawn. Second, under the View menu, just make sure the Smart Guides are on, which they are by default. But just in case, turn them back on so we can have object snapping. All right, so let us go and start this off using the pen tool by drawing simple paths and create straight segments. All right, so inside the layers panel, as you can see, I'm targeting this layer here, which is straight lines. And the first example is to create an open path, which basically is a line with two endpoints. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and select the pen tool inside the toolbar, which is right here. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter P. So I'm going to click on that. And all I'm going to do is just click once to create the first anchor point. Click again and continue following these lines that you see here on the background. And just create straight segments. And as you can see, things line up because the smart guides are on. All right. So here's the open path. Now here we have a closed path. A closed path is a closed shape with no endpoints. So I'm going to start this here. I'm going to click to create my first anchor point. And then I'm going to hold the shift key. All right, that helps to create straight segments. I keep holding the shift key. There we go. And now we need to close the path. So all we're going to do is we're going to position the pen tool over the first hollow anchor point. And as you can see, a small circle appears right next to the pen tool pointer. And all we have to do is just click once, like so. And so we have an open and closed path using straight lines. So for this next example, we have multiple curves. As you can see here, I'm targeting inside the layers panel the multiple curves layer. And basically we have a curve after curve after curve. All right, so let's go ahead and select the pen tool. And what we're going to do here is basically we're going to click once to create the anchor point, but then do not release the mouse. Click and drag to create the smooth point because this is a smooth point. And a smooth point is made up of two linked control handles, as you can see here. Now, in this case, you don't want to tangle around and go like this. You want to hold down the shift key. All right. Right there. And then release the shift key. Go right across. Click and drag downwards. Hold down the shift key as you do again so you don't tangle around. Release the shift key. Let's go ahead and create the second curve. So I'm just going to click and drag upwards here. Again, I'm holding down the shift key as I go. Going to release the shift key and the mouse, of course. And I'm going to go right across, click and drag downwards, right? Hold on the shift key as well to create the third curve. All right. So here is an example with multiple curves. Now, here we have a combination of curves with corner points. You see, here's the curve and here's the corner point. Here's the curve, here's the corner point. All right, so I'm going to, again, use the pen tool. And I'm going to click and drag downwards. Again, we're going to create 
a smooth point with two linked control handles. Again, I'm holding down the shift key so I don't tangle around. There we go. I'm going to release that. And now, because we have a corner point coming up, all we have to do is just click once. Now, because a curve is coming up, we're going to click and drag downwards. We're going to hold down the shift key as we do to bring out a control handle. There we go. Release that. Go right across and click once. Again, a curve is coming up. So all we have to do is just click and drag downwards. And I'm holding on the shift key as I do. There we go. Release that and just go right across and click once. And now we have an example with curves with corner points. All right, so let's go ahead to something a little bit more challenging. Curves with straight lines. Now this one here, I'm going to actually show you a couple of different ways how to approach this and combine those two curves with straight lines. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select a pen tool and I'm going to create my first smooth point because I know this is a curve. So I'm just going to click and drag upwards. All right, just make sure that you hold on the shift key so you don't tangle around. Release. Now, because we know a curve is coming up, I'm going to go right across, click and drag downwards and hold on the shift key again, like so, and release. Now, because a straight segment is coming up, all you have to do is just hover over here and right on top of the anchor point and click once. Go right across, click once. Here's a straight segment. And because a curve is coming up, we're going to click and drag downwards to, to bring out this control handle right there, right? And then release that, click and drag upwards, hold on the shift key as you do, release that. Again, because a straight segment is coming up, I'm going to hover over right there on this anchor point, click once, go right across, click again, Click and drag upwards because we know a curve is coming up. Release that. Click and drag. Hold on the shift key as you do, like so. Right? So here's the straight segment. That's one thing. Let me show you the second way. Again, I'm going to select a pen tool and I'm going to click and drag upwards. Go right across. Click and drag downwards, hold on the shift key as I do, and hear how the scenario changes. In this case, what we can do is you can hold down the Alt Shift or Option Shift. You see that? And you can rotate this control handle 45 degree increments. In this case, I'm going to go to, let's say, 290 degrees right there. Release the Alt or the Option or the Shift key as well, if you wish. Click once, click and drag, hold on the shift key as you do. Release that, click and drag upwards, hold on the shift key as you do. And then here we're going to hold an Alt Shift or Option Shift to change the direction of this control handle to 45 degree increments. Right there, release both, click once, click and drag upwards to get the control handle out and then just click and drag downwards, like so. There we go. Two different ways how to create curves with straight lines. All right, so here's another example of curves with corner points. This time around, just a little bit more challenging. Again, we're going to use the pen tool. And because we know that a curve is coming up, that means we're going to create a smooth point. In this case, we're just going to click and drag upwards to create a smooth point with these two linked control handles. Just make sure that you hold on the shift key as you do so you don't tangle around. Release that, go right across, click and drag downwards, hold on the shift key as you do. And now this time around, do not release anything. I'm still holding the mouse down and I'm still holding the shift key down. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to add the Alt key or the Option key into the mix. So that will be Alt Shift or Option Shift. And this way, we can rotate this control handle in 45 degree increments independently from the other control handle. You see that? 
I'm just gonna move it right on top, release everything, go right across, click and drag downwards, hold down the shift key. Do not release anything, hold down alt shift, option shift, rotate this control handle independently from the other control handle in 45 degree increments, go right on top of the other control handle, release everything, go right across, click and drag downwards, hold down the shift key as you do, hold down alt shift, option shift, rotate this, move it right on top of the other control handle, release everything, and all you have to do now for the last curve is just click and drag downwards. And of course, hold down the shift key as you go. There we go. Here is the curves with corner points using Alt Shift, Option Shift. We add anchor points so they can give us more control over a path. However, we should not add more points unnecessarily as it makes the path more complex. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and use the pen tool. Just going to click once and go right across and click here to create a straight segment. So if you want to add anchor points, all you have to do is just hover over the straight segment with the pen tool, which is going to turn into the add anchor point tool. Click once and keep adding anchor points. Another thing you can do is just you can just right click here and get to the add anchor point tool and then keep adding more anchor points. To do the opposite and actually remove those anchor points, go right back to the pen tool, hover over and you can see now the tool turns into delete anchor point. Click once, click again to remove those anchor points or you can just right click to get to the delete anchor point tool and remove those extra anchor points like so. Using the pen tool repeatedly, you will find yourself the option that you would like to convert a smooth point into a corner point or a corner point to a smooth point. So let me show you how you're going to do this. Basically, we're going to use the anchor point tool and the keyboard shortcut is Shift C. All we have to do is just hover over this anchor point. Right now, this is a corner point. So we need to convert this to a smooth point. In this case, we're going to drag a direction point out of the corner point to create a smooth point. I'm going to do the same right here. I'm going to hover over to get to the anchor point, to this corner point. So I'm going to drag a direction point out of this corner point to convert this to a smooth point. Let me go ahead and do the same one here. I'm going to click and drag a direction point out like so. Now, if you want to do the opposite and you want to convert a smooth point into a corner point, still using the anchor point tool, all you have to do is just hover over to get to the anchor point and click once. I'll do the same one here. I'm going to hover over to get to the anchor point, which is a smooth point here. So I'm going to click once to convert this to a corner point and I will do the, exactly the same thing here. Great. So this is one way. There's actually another way is by using the direct selection tool and the keyboard shortcut is the letter A. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this anchor point, which is basically a corner point. And then inside the properties panel, here's the conversion. We have two options. We have this one here, which says convert selected anchor points to corner. And we also have this one, which is convert selected anchor points to smooth. In this case, I want to convert this to a smooth point. So I'm just going to click once, going to select this anchor point, and I'm going to convert that again to a smooth point. And if you want to do the opposite, all you have to do is just click on this icon here, which is convert selected anchor points to corner. And let's go ahead and do the same, convert this one to a corner point like so. And this is how we can convert anchor points from corner points to smooth points and vice versa. All right, so let us go ahead and practice with an ornamental shape covering some of the pen tool techniques we just talked about earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. 
under the print presets i'm going to go for an a4 orientation landscape and let's see i'm going to give it a name of ornament i'm going to click to create there we go and inside the file menu i'm going to go ahead and use the place command i'm going to go ahead and place this ornament that i'm providing for you in the exercise folder and i'm going to place this as a template so click to place and here we go so inside the layers panel let me give you a quick tip if you wish to have a bigger layer thumbnail preview you can click on this fly out menu and under the panel options you can just use perhaps large or you can increase this perhaps let's say 40 pixels and now you have a bigger preview right now i'm also going to double click on the template layer here and i'm going to dim my image to let's say 30 percent that's another thing you can do and just make sure that you're back on layer one and we're going to press the letter p on our keyboard to select the pen tool and inside the property panel no need for any fill just the stroke will do fine again just make sure you're on layer one and let's go ahead and start this off we're going to create the first smooth point so I'm going to click and drag to do that and just make sure that you hold on the shift key so you don't tangle around all right and the next point will be let's see somewhere around here so I'm going to click and drag and then what I'm going to do is that actually I'm going to release the mouse because I want to talk about this for a second this directional handle dictates which way the next path is going and because we have such a short distance to cover between this endpoint and the next anchor point that we're going to lay down, which is going to be around here, what we're going to do is actually we're going to bring in this control handle and make it shorter. All right, so we're going to do this by holding on the control key or the command key. We're going to click and drag to bring this in. There we go. And as you can see now, these two control handles actually are paired to each other, but they're not equal in length. And that's because we had such a short distance to cover between here and the next anchor point. So I'm just gonna click and drag to do that here. There we go. And let's see, I'm going to click and drag to create the next smooth point. And now the, the next thing we're gonna do is actually we're going to hold down the Alt key of the object in the Mac and change the direction of this control handle because we are going down this way, all right? And this is actually known, this point right here is known as a cusp point where two control handles are not locked into alignment to each other. They just each move independently. And all right, so this is what just happened now. So now I'm just gonna click and drag all the way down here again because we have such a short distance to cover between the end point and the next point that we're going to add i'm going to hold down the control key or the command key i'm going to bring this in there we go and i'm going to go right across here click and drag and by the way if you wish you can also press the space bar all right to move this around before you release the mouse move it in place release the space bar and release all right so the next point will be around here let's say so i'm going to click and drag again and again i need to have we're going to have a very short distance to cover between the end point and the next point we're going to add so i'm going to hold down the control key or the command key i'm going to bring this in and release that click and drag we're going to hold down the Alt key or the Option key. We're changing the direction of the control handle. Now we have a cusp point again. Release that, click and drag. Let's get another cusp point here. All right, and then we're gonna go all the way down here, right there, and I'm gonna click and drag. See that? There you go. And now, again, we need to change the direction of the control handle. So I'm gonna hold down the Alt key or the Option key. Gonna move this right there. Let's zoom in a bit. And I'm going to click and drag. And I'm holding the shift key down like so. You see? There we go. I think things are looking pretty good. Everything looks to be okay. 
Now, I'm just going to make sure it because the next step is basically is to mirror this to the other side. So I'm going to marquee select those two endpoints, this one and this one, with the direct selection tool. So I'm going to marquee select those two. And inside the properties panel, I'm going to make sure that I align those two to the left. And I think I did a pretty good job already. Deselect with the selection tool. Select that. Right click. Get to the reflect tool. Double click on the reflect tool. And we're going to create a copy, okay, on the vertical. There we go. With the selection tool, we're going to move this to the other side. There you go. See that? But now, of course, we have to create this as one shape, which means we have to join those two paths. So with the direct selection tool, I'm going to marquee select those two endpoints. Under the object menu, go to path first, average both, and then go to the object menu, path and join. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to marquee select those two endpoints, object path, Average both and object path and join. All right, here it is. And let's look at this. We can select that. And of course, you can use any color you wish. Let's say I had some colors into my library. Um, and let's see, no need for any stroke. And here is the end result by using some of the paint techniques we talked about earlier. I would like to thank each one of you for visiting my channel, watching the inspiring lectures and project tutorials. Do not forget to subscribe and share the knowledge.